What's up guys, this is EB with Design Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a vignette effect around your photos and your graphic work. This can be used in three easy steps, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. First you want to do is of course find a nice photo like I have here. And of course if you would like to find great wallpapers such as this one, you can find it at interfacelift.com. Great website for all your wallpaper needs. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your rectangle marquee tool. Once that's grabbed, you can go ahead and make a marquee around your image, but make sure it's slightly inside your image. Um, this way you can set where you want um, that vignette uh, look to uh, set in. From there, you're going to have your marching ants, and from here, you're going to go to select, and you're going to invert the selection. Now you see instead of the inside selected, it's actually inverted it, which means the outside of from the frame inwards is that going to have that gradient um, vignette look to it. Okay, second step, what you want to do is go ahead and right click on your um, image and press feather. Okay, once feather comes up, you want to figure out what feather radius you would like to set it as. Since this is a larger photo, I'm going to set it as about 225. If it's a little smaller, you can better set about 200. If it's really small, like a small banner or graphic, um, like around 300 pixels, you might want to size it down to about 40 to 50 um, uh, pixels under the feather. 225 should work for this. So as you see here, it actually brought it in um, nice curved right there. Okay. Once you have here, you just have one more step. You go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and you take this left, uh, this right white slider, drag it all the way to the right, press Enter, and then Command D for deselect. And there you have it. Very easy vignette look to all of your photos. Now I'm going to do it on a graphic besides a, besides a photo. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. And there's only one easy step that you have to add when when doing this. And that is you just have to add a new layer on top of your graphic. Because some graphics in Photoshop won't allow you to do this effect. So you just have to add a new layer. And it's it's just very simple once you're done with it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and do a paint fill of all white. As white as you can get it. Okay, And from there, you just follow those next three easy steps. So make sure that it's selected on that new layer. Do the marquee tool all the way around, layer, select invert, put a feather on it, about 180 should be fine. Go to image, adjustments, levels, take this right level, go all the way down to the right left. Once you have it the darkness you want it, go ahead and hit enter, deselect, and this front layer is all white. What you want to do is make sure that it's selected on layer 2 or your top layer, which is that all white fill with the vignette look to it, and go to your layer style and go to multiply. Boom. There you have the effect. There is on and off. So switching back and forth. Anyways, guys, just a quick tutorial on how to add that vignette effect to your photos and also to your graphics. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and of course more to come in the future and, and several videos coming up on the Macintosh Tips channel. Make sure you take, check out MacintoshTips.com for more in-depth details on future tutorials. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace.